Hey, we all got you a present. <laughs> Open Come and wet the baby's head. Please come! It's all funny, don't you? It's not funny, it's serious. Most serious thing I've ever gone through in my life. Come on, up! And you can stick this with all the other stupid baby jokes. I don't want to hear it! to my pissy party, Marlon. Did everybody get a little goodie bag on the way out? I did damage limitation. Short story. You're neurotic. Look, if you don't want to talk, I don't want to talk. Plastered this stupid smile on my face. Pretending everything's all right. When everything's wrong. Sarah's in the hospital. Aaron's not even going to make it tomorrow. Maybe. The beautiful baby girl's gonna die. <laughs> it doesn't seem fair. And then your onesie's gone up in smoke too. Poor <laughs> oh, Pad. Insert comforting words of profound wisdom here. There are no words. And there are no answers. Listen, I'm... I don't even know. If this would be an option for you. But I couldn't accept that Trisha was going to die. And I know this is totally different because she, she'd lived a life, you know. But it might help to know that Margaret. Margarita's death. Help somebody else to... You know, I think about Sarah and Debbie. Waiting for a new heart. An organ donation, it's, it's such a gift. Such a gift. Trisha's life meant something to everyone who loved her. But it meant something to people who never met her, to people who are alive today because of her. I remember. You know, I was mad with grief. <laughs> Afterwards. But I never, I never regretted going ahead with Trisha's wishes. And I still think about her all the time. All the time, buddy. <laughs> Wondering what she'd be up to now if she'd lived. And I know it's going to be like that for you, but a million times worse. And I can't stand the fact that my best mate's going to have to go through all that. And I can't do anything to stop it for you. <laughs> I'm not trying to make this all about me, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and don't hate me for suggesting it, you know, because if, if it's not something you and Chaz would want to do or even think about, I totally understand. I'm just saying that when things were at the darkest, at the bleakest, it was just like this, this, this shining light in an otherwise jet black sky, knowing that her, her death had meant somebody else could live. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what Chaz would think of any of this, but I do think it really is something we should look into. Because the one thing I really can't get my head around in any of this, I'm just waiting round for my... I'm waiting round for my little girl to die. And maybe this way. I would be waiting round for her to give someone else life. Sounds like they're heading this way, don't I? I'll make sure they don't come through. I love you. 